Armed men appeared at two airports in Ukraine's largely pro-Russian Crimean Peninsula Friday, raising tensions in a country divided over the former opposition's ouster of pro-Russian President Viktor Yanukovych. In Sevastopol, home to Russia's Black Sea Fleet, forces blocked access to the local airport, a move described by Ukraine's new interior minister as a military invasion by Russian troops. Russia denied the charges. <laughs> but the presence of forces, whose identity remained unclear, was welcomed by some in the region furious about Mr. Yanukovych's ouster. I'm not sure who they are, just armed people. But they helped us to establish security. They took the territory under control. We moved further away and since morning have been patrolling the area. Much the same scene played out at the airport of Crimea's regional capital, Simferopol, which remained open despite the presence of unidentified patrols. Outside parliament, pro-Russian rallies continued as lawmakers continued to meet after gunmen took over the building late Wednesday, trying to consolidate Crimea's position after the uprising in Kiev. While possible Russian troop movement remained a topic of uncertainty, many of the protesters echoed Russia's view of the new Kiev government as brought to power by thugs and bandits. Protester Antonina Lyubchenko. Simferopol doesn't want fascism here, as it happened in Kiev, and it did in fact happen in Kiev. On Friday, anti-Russian protesters kept a low profile as those in the region hoped a vote would lead to more autonomy for Crimea. We can do it ourselves, with a referendum, without any Russian troops. We have a totally legitimate parliament and legitimate deputies, as opposed to Kiev, where there's total anarchy. But the appearance of armed men at key installations raised fears the lawmakers might not move fast enough. Elizabeth Arrett, VOA News, Simferopol.